And we're back with some more Bob Tendo Power, and yet this time it's going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one is a personal favorite of mine. One of the first NES games I ever had when I was a kid. And it was hard as shit. And it still is. Gonna let you in on a little secret there at the title screen. You can actually put in the Konami code and it gives you a couple more continues. So, I'm not gonna bother doing that. I'm just going through, gonna try and see if I can beat it on the initial, you know, four turtles here. If I die, well then so be it. But, man, I had a lot of fun playing this when I was a kid. Frustrating, yeah, for sure. But, fun? Most definitely. Well, I was a Turtles fanatic. I had almost every single toy when I was a kid. Well, I had almost every single... All the comics. I still have all the comics, actually. I like starting off with Leonardo here. Leonardo and Donatello. Obviously my favorites. You know, for the long-range weapons. Right on. I'll try and play good here. No guarantees of beating the game, though. You know, I've fully made it to the Technodrome only a few times. I've never actually beaten the game yet. Fuck. This plays out a little better for me. All oh, right, on. That is a very rare occasion that uh, those boomerangs end up showing up this early in the game. I mean, during my kid years, I'd never even seen that until I got to the third area after after the uh, the dam there with the bombs. Even that for the longest time. Fuck. Come on. All right. Ooh. Anyway, that for the longest time was about as far as I can get into the game and until you got to that infamous seaweed part. <laughs> now it seems pretty easy. Uh, I just bypass all these buildings here. You know, you, you got the pizza here that you can just keep on going back in and getting to refill yourself. So there's no point in going in the other building to get a pizza. And yeah, I'm sure we all know about the, you know, the enemies that don't really have much to do with Ninja Turtles at all. Like, I don't know who the fuck this guy, fuck, who this guy is supposed to be. Or what those things even are. <laughs> I'm not playing as awesome as, as I usually do. Anyway, we're on our way to Rocksteady Rescue April. I actually kind of dig the soundtrack. It's it's interesting. It's sometimes kind of weird. Still kind of keeps the turtle vibe. I don't know with all the rat kings everywhere though. Fuck. And yep, yeah. <laughs> we all know about the Donatello trick. Timing was just a little off there. Anyway, yeah, I still have all the comic books for Ninja Turtles, and they're they're still awesome to read. I, and the black and white ones are just they're the best by far. 
And that's where I didn't have a problem with the live action movie at all, because it actually was more following the black and white comics rather than, you know, the colorful Archie comics that we ended up getting. So with that, I can I appreciate it more. Well, honestly, the movie should have had the ending that the comic book had. Where it actually had an ending of April O'Neil trying to uh, sell off her drawings of the Ninja Turtles to a comic book company to make a comic book about Ninja Turtles, and the guy behind the desk there saying it sounded like too far-fetched of an idea. With the turtles, you know, outside of the building there, kind of laughing to each other about it. <laughs> you know, far-fetched. <laughs> So, uh, that would have been kind of a cool ending for the actual movie itself, but whatever. I'm cool with what we got. Even though it's it still would have been nice to have, you know, Krang and Bebop and Rocksteady and all that as well. Oh, oh I totally screwed that up and lost my boomerang. Shit. not paying attention here. I'm too busy yapping about fucking Ninja Turtles and comic books. <laughs> but it was such a such a big part of my childhood though too. I had almost every single toy. And fortunately don't anymore. I only just, you know, got a few loose ones lying around and one still in a box, but no one special. You know, just this worm guy that was in a comic book issue, that one comic book issue, actually, I think, that went against this cockroach guy named Scumbag. And yeah, I, I like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Fuck. Normally, that's an easy jump to make. really sure what they were thinking for this game. Like, just enemy-wise, I don't know why they couldn't just add more from the actual cartoon. No, I see, I see they, they had the rat, they have the Rat King. No, why couldn't there be a, you know, if there's multiple Rat Kings, then why couldn't there be a multiple leather fa leather heads or something? I don't know. Right on, and now the awesome underwater dam. This used to be my worst nightmare when I was a kid. But, I don't know, now it seems pretty simple. pink seaweed and whatever that is down there that shit will grab you and your toast if you notice my bubbles kind of moving towards the right there you can kind of use the current to your advantage to go through those spots there a lot quicker To the infamous little seaweed part here. So you watch my bubbles there going to the right, so you'll use the current to get in there and get that. Now getting back though, I usually always end up getting hit. Yeah. And same with this part. Uh, okay, I gotta play 
play it safe here. So constantly fuck it up here. Oh yeah, and that's fun when the current's against you for trying to get back. Almost done here though. Ah. Not doing too good for my turtle's health here. Fuck. I said I usually I normally play a little better here, but whatever. What the Oh my time, shit. time I actually ever did this and yeah wow I was pretty happy good job the dam is safe let's go home here master master of puppets are pulling your strings <laughs> I love how his hands out of the TV. Uh, the turtles already had 3D TV long before we ever did. You must defeat the Foot Clan. Normally, this used to be about as far as I can get in the game when I was a kid. I was never able to navigate. Now, if you just watch the way I do this now, it's the simplest shit ever. Def this is the first place you gotta go, everyone knows that. But I'm gonna show you guys something in this, uh, in this level that a lot of people don't think is possible. But, you'll see. Man, I don't know. I'm a Lovecraft fan as well, so I, uh, I kind of look at those things as like little Migos or something. <laughs> Whoever that cyborg guy is, I don't know. And the lovely fire guys. hate those fucking things. So, I'm gonna show you guys something. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Completely bypass going through all the other bullshit. It is possible to jump up there. Though, I didn't do it when I was a kid. I, I honestly didn't, didn't do that until... Terribly not that long ago, actually. So I don't know if that is common knowledge to people that you can do it or not. But it, it wasn't to me, so I figured I'd I'd pass it on. You just gotta jump at a you know particular angle. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, as you can see, you can get up there. Yeah. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah. Now watch where I go. I'm gonna shoot. You know, go straight to the end. So it did take a little time to you know memorize the pattern here of knowing exactly where to go. And you'll never need to pick up any more missiles, you know, go, taking this route. Just the initial amount, you know, amount that you get from right that that jump there. Uh, no, I go down. And yeah, that's the 
this way. Fuck. Alright, I've like hit every single one of those guys so far. This is where you're supposed to go. <laughs> now, some of this shit can be a pain in the ass, though, too. I gotta take take my time. Uh, in this part, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this as well. Those who have gotten here, it's not really that hard though. Once you get it down, you just gotta remember you just walk over those smaller spaces. You know, don't try and jump them or you're fucked. Sorry I'm not talking too much here. It's just a fun game to play. <laughs> like I said though, still never beaten it. I, I would like to have it on my you know, beaten list one of these days. But, I don't know. I just don't really see it happening. I think I have better luck completing my you know, comic book collection of Ninja Turtles before actually beating this game. Well, I kind of want to watch the cartoon now that I've been talking about it and playing this. Uh, here's the boss. Which I have no idea who it is. It's like a clone of you guys or something. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's Slash. I wasn't paying attention, I should have switched. Ah, oh, great. And do all this all over again. It's one thing I hate doing is repeating. <laughs> my, my aim is just horrible. those things. Oh, cool. It switched back over. <laughs> this game is so fucking random, it's ridiculous. Like the fact of falling in the water, and I don't, it doesn't kill you per se, but, you know, it'll suck you back to the beginning of the level, which makes no sense, being as, you know, just previously before I was swimming in the dam. I don't know. Oh, that one's cool. <laughs> well, and everyone's full health. All right, let's let's try this again. So, 
Gotta be careful here. Now I'm down to three turtles now. Still think Donatello's the best. That's fair. It drops on you before you even get a chance to even, you know, defend yourself. Alright, let's get back to Slash here. get this far. I have done it a couple times, so I, I do have this whole section here memorized at least. Now they throw Ed 209 at me? You know, I, I, I know I just did a video on Robocop, but come on. Death trip. That would be nice if I could stop getting hit. There's the rope up there. And not once have I ever come across the scroll weapon yet. <laughs> Which I actually rarely ever do for some reason. So exciting, I'm gonna do it again. Oof. And it was so much more exciting the second time. I gotta do it one more time. Of course, he hits me through the wall. Right on. There we go. Of course. What is that? <laughs> Sorry, you might even hear me say that even a few more times if I make it to other certain levels. There's things that pop out that are even more fucking, like, what is that type of thing. Oh, right on. Stop getting hit.
Ooh. That was quite the boss. <laughs> Back to this bizarre theme again. Let's listen to that. Now it's kind of turtle-ish. Ah, that's the trick. Jump with them. Move over, I guess. Well, that was easy. I really don't think I would have been able to navigate this when I was a kid, though. The only reason I've even memorized it now is from watching a walkthrough, like, a couple years ago. Or else even now I'd probably still be, you know, jumping into random manholes trying to figure my way around. they never threw Casey Jones in the game. That would have been kind of cool. And whoop, the Rat King again. Oh, like he's all that threatening. <laughs> no, no, it's way, it's way over here. That's the way to go, but I'm not sure. It might be over here as well. Oh, hey, Leo! Right on! <clears throat> That's cool. I forgot that every once in a while you actually can go and re-rescue whoever gets captured, I guess they say it is, not killed. Turtles are now back to being reunited. Maybe I have a chance. Or not. <laughs> Don Tello got caught. Well, I'm gonna try my luck. If Leo was in there, maybe Don will be in there too. And no. Shit. Okay, so I'm pretty much back to square one where I was before getting Leo. Except now I got Leo and I lost Dawn. So that kind of sucks. Fuck, this is stupid. There we go. Nice. It's probably a way to do that without getting hit, but you know, those little short jumps. in there? Come on, stop hitting me. Give me. I need that. Whew. There we go. 
what? Does the shit ever end? Uh, no, I don't think that's the way. Hey, just be thankful you guys aren't doing this. This shit sucks. It's fun, don't get me wrong, but it still sucks to do. Fuck. And I don't think I'm gonna bother going for that pizza. I don't think it's worth the hassle for getting back. go into that fire. That's instant death. Come on. Uh, no. Oh, I guess it was the other one. <laughs> Donatello back. I need that staff. And the bow. Uh, I hate doing this part. Uh oh, this one's not so bad. It's when the spikes come. don't fall down those parts almost perfectly, uh, you could be looking at a quick death <laughs> and that impossible pizza to get. Ah, here's a little trick with this boss. Wait until he opens his mouth? Or, oh, okay, yeah, when he opens his mouth when, when the uh, little ball is in there, yeah. Just pause it like this, unpause, and you can keep hitting him. That way it avoids him throwing any Mausers out at you or anything like that. Very quick, easy kill. And there you have it. Actually getting somewhere. Fuck, ah, right on. Go to the enemy base by blimp. That's a pretty bizarre looking turtle blimp. Top half is right, but not so sure about that part we all just went into. The sky and the red is ours. This is completely fucking random. You just gotta find some manhole place to go into and hope that it leads you to the Technodromes. This is basically the last level. Or the first part of the last level, anyway. Fuck, where's that manhole? Well, that's the one I wanna get to, but I think it might be there. That's the thing, I think it can changes randomly every time you play of where the Technodrome is going to be. And, mm. Come on. Ah. See, now what the fuck are those? <laughs> you know what? I don't think that's the way. Just don't get a good vibe off it. 
try this one. Fuck, Raphael sucks. Come on! Stop getting hit. I think this might be the way. I don't know, some of these other places are lead to dead ends as well. Then you gotta go all the way back and through all the enemies again to get back to the surface. Oh, right on! I think this is the Technodrome! Come on, stop! Get away from me! It is! Yeah! Not often do I get here. No. What? Shh. No! Oh yeah, and leaving me w left with the, the, the one hit wonder here. Well, I'm just gonna say right now, I don't see myself getting to the Technodrome now. Try and do it without getting hit. Yeah. Oh, maybe the two-hit wonder, then. Can he do it? No. Well, sorry, guys. Well, at least I made it to the Technodrome. Maybe another time I'll give it another whirl. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.